Hello students and parents, my name is David Brish and I'm one of the counselors at APS Avenues. I'm here today to show you how to access your schedule online. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the APS homepage, it looks like this, it's up here at aurorak12.org. Then you're going to mouse over the parents section here and you'll see parent portal over here to the left. I'll click parent portal and you'll scroll down a little bit until you get to the link to access the parent portal for parents and students. If you're a parent you would click parent, if you're a student you would click student. I'm going to click on a student and pretend I'm a student here. And then students, if this was you, you would type in your Google login information. So the first part of your Google email address is going to be your username and the password is your Google password that you would use to get into all your Google stuff. So your username is going to be your email minus the at Aurora K12 part and then the password is going to be your Google password that you get into all your Google stuff with. Once you're logged in you come over here and click schedule and you will see your schedule for quarter one first. Remember last year we were on hexters, but this year we're going to be in quarters. And each quarter is going to have two sessions. Session one and session two for every quarter. They broke up the class times into an AM block from 7.30 to 10.30. And a PM block, there's a PM block one, 12.30 to 3.30. So this student, for instance, has biology in the morning, 7.30 to 10.30 and then art history in the afternoon, 12.30 to 3.30. You'll notice over here there are start and end dates for each of the sessions. So for instance, biology is going to be the first class that this student is going to log into on the 18th, and then they're going to finish the class September 15th. You'll notice then that the next class will start on September 16th and go to October 15th. So then the second session, the student would just have civics in the morning and they would not have a class in the afternoon. Most students will have seven out of eight classes. So um, the student, if uh, he or she wanted to take uh, a class in the afternoon, they could do some credit recovery if they needed it. Or if they needed the time to um, you know, work on their civics, that's also fine. I'll click on quarter two here. You'll see the same thing here with start and end dates. So the first session of quarter two starts on October 16th. In the morning, the student would have math three from 7.30 to 10.30. Then in the afternoon, starting on October 16th, they would have creative writing in the afternoon. And in the second session, they would have English 11 in the morning starting on November 13th there. And then they would have study skills in the afternoon. So when you have questions, please let me know. Uh, you can contact any of your teachers, myself the counselor, um, or Tina our registrar. Um, they can all help you out. And if you have problems logging into your Infinite Campus, you forgot your login or password, let somebody know because we all have access to your Google information and can tell you what your login, your username, and your password is. All right, guys, thank you very much. We'll hopefully have a good start to the school year here. I know it's kind of strange being online and everything, but remember that the best thing to do is reach out for help when you need it as soon as possible. So have a great year, everybody, and uh, we'll uh, hopefully talk soon.